you're in the job, you'll suffer. You'll get fired, you suffer. If you're married, you will suffer. If you're not married, you suffer. What is the problem? These are things that you aspired for. When things that you aspire for happen, then you suffer. This must be looked at. Why do we deal with difficult relationships where one cannot avoid the other person, be it the boss or your wife? More often than not, I feel out of control and the whole environment seems to be conniving against me. Can I deal with the situation on my own? Is it okay to blame somebody else? What do you suggest is the way to get back to life in a positive way? See, the best thing about this is uh, you're only facing one of them either boss or the wife, never two of them together. So, you can oscillate, you know <laughs> As a military man, you can escape the wife for some time and you can escape the boss for some time, unlike other jobs where every day they have to face. I'm sorry, I'm just joking like this <laughs> Anyway, see, uh, you can neither live without your wife nor your boss. Both are important in your life. You sort the career and you got into the job, you got a boss. You sort a relationship, you got into marriage and you got a wife. So these are things that you aspired for. When things that you aspire for happen, then you suffer. This must be looked at. This is not about the wife, this is not about the boss. This is something to do with yourself. Because human beings have gotten into this place, wherever you place them, they have found a way to suffer. This happened. One day, Shankaran Pillai had a mega fight with his wife. Then in a fit of fury, he left the home and walked away in the evening. He loitered here and there just outside the town, he was moving around not knowing where to go, what to do. Going back home immediately was not palatable. Then he saw a sadhu. A sannyasi was settled down, settling down beneath the tree for the evening or the night. He looked at him and uh, he looked… he seemed to be very well organized and absolutely no issues. Under the tree, he seems to be perfectly fine. Then he went to him and said, Sadhu Maharaj, Bivi Bhat Parishan De Rai, Kuch Sulub Upai Hai To Bolo. The sadhu glared at him like this, Bevakuf, Sulub Upa hai to make you sadhu banke yaan bait raha hoon. So, uh, <laughs> see, uh, we say this like uh, life is like juggling a ball. If you're alone, just one ball, easy to do. You become two, two balls, little more difficult, more leads more attention. Then you become four, you have four balls to juggle. Then you have an Indian army on you, you have ten thousand balls to juggle, all do you? So, how many balls can you juggle joyfully? That's how many you should pick up. If you aspire or enhance your activity without enhancing yourself, Activity will cause misery. So people, uh, you know, uh, one top executive in the country of an international company, a global CEO, came to me some time ago and in a deep state of distress and said, Sadhguru, I can't take this, they're putting so much stress on me. I looked at him and said, okay then, may you be fired. He said, no, no, Sadhguru, what are you saying? I said, hey, you're suffering your job so much. I'm sure there are many people who are aspiring for your job. If you get fired, you can walk the beach happily. No, 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 Sadhguru, don't do that to me. So if you're in the job, you'll suffer. You'll get fired if you suffer. If you're married, you will suffer. If you're <laughs> don't… if you're not married, you suffer. What is the problem? The problem is this… this one, not with the wife, not with the boss, not with the world. Whatever they may be, I'm not trying to defend them, they may be anything, but whether I suffer or don't suffer is essentially with me. As I said earlier, what the world throws at you is not your choice. What you make out of it is one hundred percent your choice. This is what karma means. When I say my life is my karma, 
wife is somehow, boss is somehow, the world around you is somehow, all kinds of uh, nuisance happening. <laughs> but uh, I keep this one the way I want. You may <laughs> I know you face different kind of enemy, but we face all kinds of people every day. People that I've never met, that I do not know, they have <laughs> they're spewing venom on me on daily basis. I don't know from where that venom comes, maybe it's just pro extra protein in their body, I don't know. But uh, they go on endlessly, doing all kinds of things, putting all kinds of obstacles to everything that we do. Everything that we do is inclusive for larger well-being, but they don't like it. There are people campaigning right now against me <laughs> today that tree planting is dangerous. Okay, <laughs> your existence itself is dangerous. So, what people do to you, what the world does to you, this is how it is. What do you want to do to yourself? That is in your hands. This is your karma. This is what it means by saying, my life is my karma means the way I am is hundred percent mine, nobody. Nobody can decide how I will be right now. It's me who decides how I am right now. If you decide how you are right now, will you keep yourself blissful or miserable? If you can answer this one question, all of you.